Ellen, first of all, congratulations. 16 years with the Lion King. What's, what's the feeling to be a part of something for that long? I mean, I think we all know for Broadway, most people don't get to say they've been in a show for 16 years, right? So for me, it's, it's all gratitude because I've been able to grow up in the show almost spanning two decades of my life. So the experience is monumental and it's a foundation that I'm beyond grateful for. It's been a blessing, to be honest. And for people who don't know, you were dance captain swing. What does that mean? What did you do on a nightly, daily basis? Well, it changes constantly. <laughs> but kind of what I do is maintain the show, maintain the choreography in the show, teach people the show when they come to the show, do cleanup rehearsals. I work closely with the creative team and the stage management team to kind of organize daily operations, casting, literally it's it doesn't end. I remember going to the audition in Orlando, Florida. I was working at Walt Disney World at the time. And I remember my friends telling me, you should go to this audition for The Lion King. I was like, I can't do that. I'm not I'm not part of the, I can't do that. I don't dance like that. So I, Broadway wasn't the dream. No, it wasn't. It wasn't the dream. I, I wanted to be more of like a dance concert dancer. And that was my training. So when I started to realize that the movement that they were doing was exactly what I've trained for, I was like, oh wait, it's not just musical theater on that stage. And then before you knew it, three months later, I ended up getting the phone call and I did not even know like what I was getting myself into. And then 16 years later, the choice to finally leave the show is because I had to start choosing myself. I think in this role as a dance captain, we lose sight of ourselves sometimes because we're in the acts of service. We are serving others. And even though it's been an honor, it's also been time for me to kind of like spread my wings and soar. And I'm excited to talk about the next chapter. You are going to be the first Polynesian director of Broadway Bears. For those that do not know, tell me about Broadway Bears and what you will be doing. So Broadway Bears was kind of like the birth child of Jerry Mitchell. In the heart of the HIV and AIDS crisis, he was losing so many friends um, next to him. Uh, he would see them one day on stage and then they wouldn't be there the next day. So he created this show to raise money for Broadway Cares and it's a burlesque show. So <laughs> I tried to describe it to someone and I'm like, Magic Mike, but Broadway. Yes, if exactly. That makes sense. It's okay. Magic Mike, Broadway, it's all like of it. Like Chippendales, but yes. Broadway guys. Yes, and it's very special and very different. <laughs> well, thank you. I, I love just talking to you. Your energy is beautiful. Congratulations on everything, and thank you for taking the time. Thank you, Ashley.